If you've never poured olive oil into your sink before, you should definitely give it a try. You can find out this and six other secret tricks with olive oil that almost nobody knows in this video. For the first ingenious trick, you should use olive oil on your bathroom tap. To do this, you don't just grab olive oil and pour it over the tap, but we want to do it a little differently. In addition to the olive oil, you will also need a cloth for this trick. The first step is to completely clean the tap so that there are no more stains on it, because you can't get the tap clean with olive oil. We can create another positive effect on our tap with olive oil. After you have cleaned it and then rubbed it completely dry, the olive oil can be used. Now take a small amount of olive oil and put it on a cloth. A paper towel is best for this. Fold it up well and put a very small amount of olive oil on it, as you can see here. This very small amount is enough. We don't want the entire tap to be covered in olive oil, just a very thin layer on the tap. So now start rubbing over the entire tap until you have a very thin layer of it on the tap. Now you should take a dry part of the cloth and wipe over it again, so that there are no more streaks or residues of olive oil on our tap. Incidentally, you can of course also use this trick on your shower taps or on the taps in the kitchen. It works equally well everywhere. The advantage is that everything shines beautifully again thanks to the olive oil. You have also created a beading effect. This means that if you pour water on it, it will simply drip off, preventing lime scale stains from forming so quickly and keeping the tap clean for much longer. It is also a good idea to use olive oil for such shoes. Ideally patent leather or leather shoes. Again, grab a cloth and apply a very small amount of olive oil. Then start rubbing the olive oil all over your shoe. This also creates a thin layer. You are taking good care of your shoe. It will shine beautifully again afterwards, as you can see here on my shoe. It looks much nicer. And the other advantage is that you have also created a beading effect here. Water will now simply run off. And if small drops of water do stick to the shoe, they will disappear directly from the shoe when you move. This keeps your shoes clean and prevent them from getting wet. For our next ingenious trick, the first thing you need is a cork. Cut a very thin slice of it. It should be about 1 to 2 cm thick. Now take a sharp object and make a hole in the center. Now you need a piece of string. You can also take a piece of toilet paper and roll it up. Now press the whole thing through the center of the hole so that a piece of the thread peeks through at the top and the same at the bottom. In the next step you will need a glass. An empty tea light jar is best. Add a few decorative elements at the bottom if you like. Now you should also fill the glass one third full with water. And in the next step we need olive oil again. Now fill the remaining two thirds of the jar with olive oil, but make sure that a small layer remains at the top. It should not be filled to the brim with olive oil. Once you have done this, your jar should now look like the one I have here. In the next step you can add a few more decorative elements. This will make the whole thing look even more appealing. I have wooden stars like this here, which I simply put inside and a few dried rose petals. Put these on the top, they will just float on the surface. Now we need the wick that we made earlier. You can now place it in the center after dripping the wick itself into the olive oil once. Now wait 10 minutes so that it soaks up the oil. Now you have an olive oil candle that will burn forever. Because you can simply light the wick, it will feed on the olive oil, which it draws up through the wick again and again. And as soon as it touches the water, it will simply go out. So it can't start burning and you can keep topping up the olive oil, ensuring that the candle burns forever. And even if it sounds really strange, you can even clean your windows with olive oil. However, it is also important that you follow the correct sequence here. Because of course you shouldn't just smear olive oil on your windows. This will only leave streaks and you won't be able to see out afterwards. All you need is a spray bottle. The first step of course is to add the olive oil. We need a tablespoon of olive oil. Put this into the spray bottle. Then we need other ingredients. Here we have a tablespoon of conventional dish soap. In the next step we need apple cider vinegar. However, you should now add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to the spray bottle. And finally, once you have all these ingredients in the spray bottle, there is just one important thing missing. And that is normal water. We now add 400 milliliters of water. Once you have everything in the spray bottle, you can shake it well again so that all the ingredients combine. And then add the spray head to the top. Now take this mixture to your windows and spray them with it. Once you have sprayed them well, you should grab a cloth because the next step is to rub all over the windows. In this way, we also manage to completely remove coarser dirt, so that the windows are clean again at the end. Of course, olive oil has another advantage. But first, after you've wiped everything over, you should wipe it dry again, so that no more streaks remain. 
and you will see that you really will get the windows completely streak free clean. You also have created the beating effect here. This means that if it rains and water hits the window pane, it will simply run off and won't stick as much as usual. This means you can enjoy your clean windows for much longer. And for our next week we also use olive oil in our oven. Of course you shouldn't just pour it in the oven either, as that would be counterproductive. We can use olive oil wonderfully on the outside of our oven. Here's what you need to do. Grab a cloth and start by completely cleaning the outside of the oven. Once again, it's important that we give it a good clean before we can apply the olive oil to the oven. Once you have wiped everything clean, you must of course wipe it dry, as this is the next step. And then our olive oil comes into play. However, you shouldn't just drizzle it on the oven, but spread it on with a paper towel. So grab a paper towel and fold it up a few times first. This will help you spread it better. Now pour a very small amount of the olive oil onto the paper towel. Again, very little is enough. We don't want the oven to end up completely covered in olive oil. We just want to apply a thin layer. You should now spread it over your entire oven in a circular motion. Once you have done this, you will see that it shines much more beautifully, because the olive oil gives the stainless steel a really nice shine. You also have the advantage that water stains will no longer stick so easily and you will have a clean oven on the outside for much longer. But olive oil can be very helpful not only for your household appliances but also for yourself, namely for your feet. To do this, you should spread olive oil on your feet. There are several ways to do this, which I would like to show you briefly. Firstly, you need a good dash of olive oil, about 2 tablespoons, then add another 2 tablespoons of salt. You also need the juice of half a lemon. Once you have squeezed the lemon and added the juice, you can stir everything together well, so that you end up with a really nice paste. Now take this paste to your feet and apply it all over your feet, especially where you have cracked heels or calluses. This will really soften them up. Ideally, it should be left to soak in for a while. After about 30 minutes you can rinse your feet and benefit from these positive effects. There is also another option. You can also simply apply olive oil to your feet and as a little insider tip so that you don't get everything dirty or your socks are somehow still full of olive oil at the end, you can take some clinch film and wrap your foot in it. This will ensure that the olive oil stays on your feet long enough to work its magic. Now put on some socks to make sure it stays in place. You can even leave it on your feet for up to 2 hours before taking your socks off again and rinsing everything off. You can also use coffee. Simply use old coffee grounds that you would otherwise have thrown away. Put some coffee grounds in a bowl and add enough olive oil to make a really nice paste. If you stir this now, you can then apply it directly to your feet. Again, rub it into the dry area. Then leave it on for around 20 to 30 minutes and rinse it off again. You can repeat this process up to 3 times a week. And if you're wondering what olive oil is doing in your sink, I'll show you. But the first step is to clean the sink once if it looks like this or even worse. So make sure that any coarse dirt has been removed and that it is completely dry before we start with the olive oil. Again, we just put a small amount of olive oil on a cloth and then start rubbing it all over the stainless steel sink. Again, we have the advantage that it shines much more beautifully afterwards than before. The advantage of olive oil is that it ensures that the stainless steel is polished to a high shine again. It's not about spreading a large amount of olive oil in the sink, but only a very thin layer. You also benefit from the beading effect, which means that the water simply runs off and new dirt or limescale stains don't form so quickly. By the way, did you know that you can clean your bathroom with baking soda? You can find out exactly how this ingenious trick works by clicking on the video you see on the screen now.